number six. People have been collecting shells since the Stone Age. Seashell necklaces have been excavated in sites far from the ocean, which is evidence that even prehistoric collectors saw them as a tradable commodity. Our next contender is also an avid shell collector, but he lives in the waters of Africa's Lake Tanganyika. He's a freshwater fish called a cichlid. This lake is home to more than 250 different kinds of cichlid. So it's not surprising that each species has a unique way of attracting a mate. This flirtatious male has an obsession for shells. He's number six in the countdown because he collects empty snail shells. The more shells he collects, the more females he attracts. That's because these shells are not just pretty trinkets to impress the females. They're actually houses for his harem. The male may only be four inches long, but compared to his quarter of an inch mate, he's proportionately the biggest male in the world. She's so small she can lay her eggs inside the snail shell. However, the female cichlid is not the only one living in a house of shells. On the southern coast of New Zealand, you can find a home that would truly be the envy of any male cichlid. It's the residence of a couple who devoted their retirement to collecting abalone shells from a nearby beach. Fred and Myrtle Flutie's house is now a tourist attraction. It all started 40 years ago when Myrtle used a few shells to decorate a mirror. Over the years, Fred and Myrtle added more shells until the walls, furniture, and even their telephone were covered in abalone. The house is now a museum and has attracted more than a million visitors to see the seashells. The male cichlid's collection of shells also attracts visitors, but not all of them are welcome. Collecting shells is hard work, which is why some males prefer to steal from their neighbors. This isn't the only time that one of our crazy collectors comes under attack, as we'll see later in the countdown. Number five. Our countdown of the natural world's craziest collectors continues in a stockpile of some of the most disgusting creatures on the planet. These shells are full of parasites. There are more than 30 million specimens in this reference collection stored at the U.S. National Parasite Collection in Washington, D.C., and many of them are worms. More than 100 species prey on humans. We can be infected by tapeworms, roundworms, pinworms, and hookworms. The scientists here are experts on worms, just like our next contender. But you won't find it in a laboratory. It's time to head back to the golf course to find the animal that's burrowed into number five in the countdown, the mole. These digging machines love eating earthworms. It's been estimated that a five ounce mole can eat 50 pounds of earthworms in a year. To make sure it never goes hungry, the mole collects worms to store in a special underground pantry. A bite to the head segment leaves the worms immobilized yet alive. One mole was recorded storing over 400 worms in an underground chamber. But that's nothing compared to the world's best human worm collectors. 
Welcome to the English village of Williston, Cheshire. Today, more than 144 competitors have gathered to collect worms. Each competitor has three square yards of turf and 30 minutes to charm worms out of the ground. Oh, come on, Wormy. I've got something for you. At the World Worm Charming Championships, they're singing, dancing, and twanging, the local term for vibrating the earth with a garden fork. As always, after the awards ceremony, all worms are safely returned to the earth. If only those sitting in a mole's pantry were as lucky. These paralyzed worms will end up inside a mole's stomach, which is why this gruesome stockpile is unlikely to last for more than a few days. However, not all collections in the countdown are short-lived. Still to come is a hoard that was built thousands of years ago. Number four. These are acorns. And in the forests of America, they're the favorite food of our next crazy collector. Meet the aptly named acorn woodpecker. It's number four in the countdown because it collects vast numbers of these nuts to store for winter. The bird finds a storage hole for every acorn, and it's important that each one is placed in the right-sized hole. A tight fit is essential to prevent the collection being stolen by squirrels or rival woodpeckers. Acorn woodpeckers live in family groups and store their nuts in just one tree. That can mean a lot of holes and a lot of acorns. Some collections contain more than 50,000 nuts. Armed with a chisel-like beak, woodpeckers have no trouble opening their wooden pantry full of acorns. And neither would a collector in California. Humans love eating nuts. And over the years, we've created ingenious ways to open their shells. Hal Davis has collected most of them. Hal started collecting in 1953 and accumulated several thousand different nutcrackers. once admitted he was completely cracked on crackers. But one thing he didn't have was the beak of an acorn woodpecker. This is the perfect way to open a massive hoard of nuts. next contender also stashes away food to survive the cold, but instead of using a tree for storage, it uses a deep freeze. 